This is dedicated to all the skater bears in the world. Oh, man. I just dumped it on my camera. I'm picking it up. Sorry about that. Hi, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be straight up honest. I don't know how to introduce. I don't remember my first ever video I watched on YouTube, but I grew up with the platform as it started to establish itself. And I think we all have a YouTuber or two that we found years and years ago and still continue watching to this day even. Whether it was someone who inspired you to create a channel of your own or you were just consuming the content. But as far as videos go, I have to say my earliest viral video I can remember watching and became obsessed with wasn't by a, like a YouTuber, but by a yummy tummy funny lucky gummy bear. <laughs> also known as the Gummy Bear Song. The Gummy Bear Song, if you don't know, was this Flash animated music video um, of a singing green gummy bear who has become, you know, the titular character known as Gummy Bar. But actually, since researching this, it's pronounced Gummy Bear. Um, when I was little, for some reason, I called him Gumbar in my head. Not to be confused with Gumby, they're both green. But for the remainder of this video, I'll just be calling the character um, Gummy Bear. The character was created by Christian Snyder and was designed by Peter Dodd and his singing voice was done by Macy Snyder, also known as Tone Kind. Now at this point with movies like Spree, this song has really trended um, time and time again in recent years, not just in the 2000s when this initially went viral. Which let me just, let me just pause. I cannot even believe that this is a real movie scene. But it's safe to say we've all heard this song at least once, even if you haven't seen the original infamous music video, which is exactly what we're gonna get into today. What are its, what are its origins, origins? Where, did, where it did it come from? Or if you were like me who had a phase of rewatching it almost daily in its peak popularity, then you were real for that. The original Gummy Bear song in English was first uploaded to YouTube 16 years ago on October 7th, 2007 on the I Can Rock Your World YouTube channel, where today it sits at 3.2 billion views. Like when I say viral, I mean viral. Although according to the description, uh, the original video was a 30 second video called It Van in Gumimachi, which is a Hungarian version of the Gummy Bear song that actually debuted on the internet in August of 2006, where it was originally posted to a site called Mojo Flix. It was there that it quickly began going viral for the very first time, gaining hundreds of thousands of views. So following its success, a 30 second English version was created, which only seemed to increase the song's popularity and views reached up into the millions. By summer of 2007, the final full length 2 minute and 30 second version was then released and it has been popular among the internet ever since. As you can tell right off the bat, the Gummy Bear song, or the Gummy Bear character in general, is not American, but German despite the English version being the most viewed and most popularized. Not only was the song recorded in English actually, and Hungarian as I said, but it's been recorded in 25 different languages overall and has been released in more than 40 countries worldwide. After the success that the Gummy Bear song saw with the English version on the I Can Rock Your World YouTube channel, they decided to upload the song in Hungarian, French, German, Spanish, Swedish, Spanglish, and Brazilian before deciding to abandon the channel a year later because of all the success these versions saw respectively they just felt that Gummy Bear really needed his own separate official channel, thus the real Gummy Bear channel was born. Which is the perfect segue into the next song I want to talk about. Like, yes, the Gummy Bear is an absolute bop and has aged amazing. But where are my Nuki Nuki stands at? I didn't just listen to the Gummy Bear song on repeat, okay? It was from that song that I discovered many music videos with the titular dancing candy bear. One of which was called Nuki Nuki, which happens to be the most viewed video on the Real Gummy Bear channel, garnering 585 million views. Yeah, I haven't had an original experience ever. 
This song is not about his life as a gummy bear, but his nuki or pacifier. So really just playing into the potential child audience these people probably realized they had in their hands. I mean, that was probably the intentions of the original gummy bear song too. Couple questions though, let's take a dive into these lyrics, shall we? Nuki nuki nuki, sweeter than a cookie, I'll share it if you are my friend. Yo, what? I would hope not. PSA, do not share your nuki. That's how COVID-19 happened. No, because why am I making that disclaimer like there's literally a baby watching this video right now? There's no... <laughs> anyway, a fun fact about this music video is the company, The Herring, I think is how it's said, um, which is responsible for the animation, has a video on their YouTube channel, which features minor differences from the final version of the Nuki Nuki video, so it appears to be like a work in progress. And side by side, we can just see the clear differences, small differences really, between the two. Then it gets confusing, um, as if it wasn't already confusing when this deep voice chimes in singing Mama Nuki, Papa Nuki, Auntie Susie, Uncle Klaus, Grandma Nuki, Grandpa Nuki, Superman, and Mickey Mouse. Uh? Huh? <laughs> what is happening? Okay, this is not me trying to nitpick um, and be critical. I know it's a song for children. I mean, I was one of the children after all, but you should have seen my raw reaction, like re-watching this for the first time in like a decade. I didn't remember anything. When I tell you, I really didn't process like <laughs> what the meaning or what any of these lyrics were saying until I rewatched this. Well, that is besides like, I'm off to school, play on my computer. How did I not know this was a song about a pacifier? Did I think they were saying no key? Kia, like the phone. Get it? Because he's on the on the phone. And the, and actually, no, he's playing on his computer. You know what? I thought it was a phone when I was a kid. Anyway, in the Japanese version of the album, Lala Love to Dance, this lyric is actually changed to Super Mouse and Mickey Man, uh, which was most likely done to avoid copyright. Also, when I thought about doing this video, um, I literally had forgotten that this song even existed, but I was probably more obsessed with the Nuki Nuki song than the Gummy Bear song, if I'm being honest. The other song I was also really obsessed with was the like World Cup soccer one, which actually is in Spanish, or it's in English too actually, but I remember, or I remembered going into this video that there was one specific gummy bear song that I liked better in another language. And I listened to all the gummy bear song variants because I originally thought it was that song and it was one of the other versions, but I determined it wasn't. It was after hearing the Spanish version of this song that I realized it was this one, and it also has way more views than the English one, so that could have been how I stumbled upon it in the first place. Which definitely adds up, like it's better than the English one. Also, I'm especially realizing in this song that the way he moves is just so unsettling at times. <laughs> There's also Choco Choco um, that I vaguely remember watching only because I knew that there was one song um, about chocolate. I just like wasn't listening to that one on repeat as much as the other three. Like I didn't even remember what it sounded like. I just remembered the visuals for it. As you can see, Gummy Bear actually has quite the discography. Half of it that I have never even listened to. Look for the Gummy Bear album on November 13th. Well, Gummy Bear has seven albums altogether, with the most recent being released in 2021, and he actually released a single this year. Other hits on their YouTube channel, though, included La 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 Love You, Bubble Up, Mr. Mr., and Itsy Bitsy Bikini. Now, naturally, you can imagine I fell down a bit of a rabbit hole as I started you know, listening to all the classics I knew and loved, but the one that piqued my interest that like showed up in my recommended was the Gummy Bear song K-pop version that was uploaded back in 2018. And this updated version still has like 33 million views, which is not bad whatsoever, but I can't seem to say the same thing for the song. <laughs> It was bad. I would describe it to you as, you know that app like Smeal where you could sing duets with random people just all around the world? Well, it's that's what that's what the vocals sound like in this song. You know, maybe this is what the Gummy Bear song sounded like to my mom all along when I wouldn't stop playing it all of the time. It's like that one episode of South Park where Randy Marsh, he lies that he likes Stan's music taste, but he just won't admit it. It sounds like crap, right? No, I mean, I like it. 
it's not even the song, it's like the auto-tune. It's so, so severe in this version compared to all the other ones I've watched. And I've listened to this song in at least 10 languages all the way through in preparation for this video. And they all had me moving, grooving, and jamming, you could say. Oh, and the cherry on top to this was at the end of the song, which is probably the arguably the catchiest part of the original Gummy Bear song. They just inserted back the like original vocals from the song. And then the end of the music video, it cuts off like very abruptly. Anyway, back to me being informational again. The Real Gummy Bear channel, of course, saw great success, gaining over 8 million subscribers. Only 1 million less than the I Can Rock Your World channel was able to obtain. With the success, though, the titular character was able to expand to more things than just simple flash animated music videos, such as live shows, which, oh my god, he is terrifying. I am so curious. Please let me know if you've been to the Gummy Bear live show in the comments. Like, I don't know if this was just exclusive to Australia or not, but thank god we got this upgrade when the Gummy Bear made his appearance at the New York Comic Con in 2012. But I get it, you know, his character design has maybe just always been scary in hindsight, but at least this one actually looks like him. Hell, even his appearance at the uh, carnival parade in Greece has uh, less terrifying costumes. And don't, don't laugh, okay? I kind of need one. That's me pulling up to the store on November 13th. And this is just an example of like, when I tell you this gummy bear literally saw success on every corner of the globe, it's actually kind of insane. Some of your faves, they just couldn't do that. Anyway, another thing we saw from the Gummy Bear was the launch of various mobile apps. The first in 2009 being called Gummy Bear Game, which according to the demonstration was a classic jump run action game that included three different mini games. You could explore mysterious islands and face deadly challenges, but most important, um, impress everyone with your dance moves. Then in 2012, we got the I Love You Gummy Bear app, which featured music from La La Love to Dance, the second album from the internationally acclaimed animated superstar Gummy Bear. So yeah, this one was just a very similar concept, filled with a different set of minigames, uh, which included the titular character and his music. But that wasn't the only game released in 2012 though. There was a video player for iPhone, iPad, and iPod, which was basically made for exclusively watching the Gummy Bear's music videos and other content. They actually posted a sneak peek for this app um, earlier in the year, which they didn't do for any of the other games and this is what the top comment said. You should really make a game, not an app that'll just play videos. Oh I'm sorry, were the off-brand Doodle Jump and Angry Birds minigames just simply not enough for you? But why I'm mentioning this and what makes it all so funny is he actually replied to this comment. You know what they say about people that make assumptions, don't you? OMG. You answered? Oh, I I didn't know you had a voice. Uh uh, uh I have I have no idea. Tell me, mi amigo. Uh, you are a guy, right? Right? I sound deranged right now, reading this aloud. And you know how I said too? Um, the other one was this like talking gummy bear app that also released in 2012, probably to cash in on the talking Tom and talking Angela craze. Or if this was when the Talking Angela scandal happened, maybe people were rushing over to Gummy Bear instead. We also got a bubble up game in 2013 where, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You pop these little bubbles that pop up on the screen and there's multiple levels. I was watching the demonstration video and there's like a little voice that encourages you after you're popping the bubbles and it says, great, but I originally thought it was saying, Craig. 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 Please tell me I'm not going crazy. Do you guys hear it too? Besides games and live music, the other thing that was um, obvious to do marketing wise for this character was merchandise. And boy, there was lots of it. In fact, let's pull up his merch store right now and take a look, shall we? So right off the bat, we see some birthday decorations that are new to the shop. Very cute, honestly. But I am curious about the clothing though, because I saw a promotional video for shirts specifically when I was scrolling the uh, Real Gummy Bear channel, but I didn't watch it because I wanted it to be a surprise. So we're going into this blind. Oh, I am immediately obsessed with the shirt that just says, Shark. Damn, what is that, bro? Damn, um, you might as well take my money. 
stop. Also, they have a back to school section. Um, catch me pulling up to college with the gummy bear shoulder bag. Hear me out, guys. Why is it cute? I thought the merch was gonna be ugly, but like all of this is actually kind of cute. Also, can we get the folder design as a poster though? That would go so hard. Speaking of college, I am class of 2023 and where was this at my graduation? Like sure I got money, but nothing can fill the void in my heart. Like the I graduated gummy bear sticker. I'm loving how many specific collections they have. Like these people are so smart. They even have a reusable shopping bag. Um, they care about the environment, guys. Oh my god, why do I need the enamel pin? This is not even funny anymore. I can't lie though, the plushies are kind of scary. They're a bit unnerving. Pepita, don't turn me into marketable plushies. But maybe I'm being too harsh. Like, he, after all, is just a little guy. <laughs> he's not a little guy. Tell me why he's 5'4". I'm 4'11". This is not funny. <laughs> if it's not obvious, this is the merch store in 2023, by the way. But I was also curious if the merch store was any different back in, you know, 2009 or 2010 when Gummy Bear was just getting popular. But from what I was able to find on the Wayback Machine, it really didn't seem like there was much of a drastic difference. Now, we know Gummy Bear for his music, but what if I told you he has not only dabbled in music, but entertainment? That's right, he has two seasons of his own show and even a Christmas movie. And yes, he does have Christmas merch, which like, are you kidding? But let's talk about the uh, show before we get into the movie, because as you might have noticed, the elephant in the room. Who are you people? The Gummy Bear Show, or also known as Gummy Bear and Friends, is an animated series that began on June 24th, 2016, and was produced by Toons Media Group for Season 1 and Melon Animation for Season 2. This series basically follows um, Gummy Bear, who goes by the nickname Gummy, and his best friends, Calla the Cat and Harry the Chameleon, as they go on wacky and wild adventures. For the purpose of this video, I only watched like two and a half episodes, but in the middle of each of the episodes, a song which was written specifically for the episode would be performed by Gummy. Episode 1, Spooktacular, basically follows Gummy and his friends as they encounter a mysterious intruder, so the song really just encapsulates that kind of vibe as they make their escape. <laughs> Fun fact about this show too is despite being a boy, Gummy has actually only had female voice actors. And I say had because the voice actors from the Christmas movie, which came before the show, didn't reprise their roles as Gummy, Calla, and Harry. But as soon as I heard Gummy's voice in the show, I, you know, I had known I heard it somewhere before. It sounded very familiar, so never have I ever ran to Google so fast. Now, Gummy is actually voiced by Philippa Alexander. Just take a guess, take a gander, if you will, of what the first movie that popped up was when I googled her name. The Moshi Monsters movie. That's right, she's Poppet from the Moshi Monsters movie, the gasp I let out, you should have seen me. If you know anything about me, Moshi Monsters has changed the trajectory of my life forever. By far my favorite virtual world growing up. But to move on, one thing I left out this entire video is, shockingly, Gummy Bear has had a lot of holiday content over the years, but specifically Christmas. From several Christmas songs, to some merch, to even a full-length Christmas movie, which is up on their YouTube channel to watch for free. The movie is called The Yummy Gummy Search for Santa, and it follows the internet sensation Gummy Bear as he dances his way to saving Christmas. His adventures, of course, are filled with fun music, wacky characters, and lots of laughs. <laughs> No, like, that's what the description says on Google. Now, if it wasn't obvious, I didn't write this script intending it to be a holiday special or anything. It just kind of happened. I just knew in honor of the holiday season that we needed to watch some of this masterpiece. Together. And we're back. Um, Same shit, different day. I do apologize. I meant to have my Christmas tree up by now, but I guess after what happened last year, it's maybe for the best. <laughs> Oh! The intro to this movie is literally like the 
lion? I'd, I don't know how to describe it right now. But they do it with a moose? Or I thought it was a moose and I'm now realizing it's Santa's damn reindeer. But they look so scary. We're one minute into this film and there's already like five fat jokes. That wasn't me. <laughs> Ew, oh my god! I hate I hate the reindeer. Look at his mouth! Maybe he should have skipped that all you can eat Thanksgiving buffet. Oh my god, we get it! Talk about a guy being totally delusional Okay, this is scary. Why is Gummy Bear getting a plush of himself for Christmas? Okay, now it's not on screen when I'm talking about it. Oh, of course, it's the Gummy Bear toy that sets everything. Oh! Seen too much ass for. Oh, it's gonna cut and it's gonna be the... Was that the bite of 87? What the hell is he doing? Oh my god, he's making everything worse. What the? Oh, he's so scared. Santa, is that you? Little singing green guys. Oh. What? Wait, what? Uh, and his gang woke in their beds from I'm so sleep. confused. Gummy was relieved. It was all just a dream. What? What is the point of this? Why is there an alien? I was right, that is his phone. Oh my gosh! You know what, I thought it was a phone when I was a kid, and I rewatched it, so I was kind of confused. Does it just like morph into a computer? What is the lore with this? Why does he have a juice box? What? Which channel? <laughs> Every channel! Oh no! Come to the Oh, I kind of like his voice better in this than the show, I'm gonna be honest. Where is he in the show? Hold on, who is that? Whoever that bat is, I like his design better than all three of them, actually. Sorry, Gummy. He's such a dad. singing voice it's like so drastic it's like that scene from the uh, Scott Pilgrim anime where um, Andy starts singing at Scott's funeral five six seven eight that's more than one number I will remember you yeah I love his design why wasn't he in the show or maybe I mean he could be like as a guest but how were Henry and Callum are marketable I don't know we are listening to you, hi. Hanging onto every word. Oh, yeah? So what did I just say? Uh, what's up, Harry? It's Santa. He's... 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 Okay, we got the he's part. What's the rest of it, H-Man? Missing. If you're just joining us, you've missed huh? a lot of commercials. Why do I expect him to say he's dead? <laughs> they protesting? <laughs> the cameraman being scared. Santa vanished. Uh, I was just dreaming about him. Well, actually, about presents. Oh, presents. I love presents. He reminds me of someone. I can't. He reminds me of someone so specific right now, and I can't think of the character right now. Doing nothing while waiting for somebody else to do something. <laughs> Anybody want some juice? <laughs> Why do I love him? He's so, he's so me. Wait, did he say his name? Yes, Vam, no. Vam or Vamp? Right after we find Santa, he'll 
How many songs are gonna be in this movie? We're 10 minutes in. Is there gonna be another song? Ew! Okay, maybe I see why you didn't make the show. I love how he's casually just a plane driver. It even says that on the wiki. He can definitely go faster. We've all seen the Nuki Nuki music video. Me landing a plane. Stop. That reminds me of this video on Twitter where they put this giant like hot chocolate bomb in hot chocolate and then one of the family members goes, we got a floater and they all just burst out laughing. Oh, I'm gummy bear. You look kind of familiar. Uh, did I meet you on the set of the Wizard of Oz or something? Whatever. Can Why did they all look so scared? Oh, oh not this. Okay, so much ass in this movie, I'm scared. She's so me. No way, it's the car from the infamous Gummy Bear song. I thought he was gonna say the joy of the gummy bear song. Oh, not them again. Villains of this movie, because I would not be surprised. What? <laughs> Santa, I, I hate to say this, but you must have been hit the two with he can make me hit the two. What? <laughs> Time hasn't stopped. Christmas Eve isn't in six months. It's in six minutes. <laughs> Why does he want Santa so bad? Uh, Alan, He's just like me for real. He's just like me for real. Oh, you hurt his feelings. Okay. Where did he go? <laughs> Ew, okay, I literally hate this so much. Why does he move like that? How is Alan gonna compete, honestly? Alan was setting himself up for failure. What? This is how every song sounds when it gets put on TikTok. Okay, what, what, what is going on? Why do I feel bad for him? You just got school, boy! Talk about a guy being totally delusional. Animation is freaking me out. Why is he like so stretchy? Why do they all dance better than him? Why he's literally just copying Gummy Bear's moves. Talk about a guy being totally delusional. It's definitely been six minutes by now. It's already too late. Easily 
literally just able to block him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been picking up your planet's television signals for years, and I'm just such a big fan of your work. I just wanted to give my planet the joy you bring. <laughs> Alan, stop crying. I'm sorry, but like, Alan is just like me. Why do I love him? They seem like they're in the wrong universe, the reindeer. Why are they in this movie? They they just don't fit. <laughs> he is just like me. I said that like five times. I need to stop. Yeah, Gummy Bear has his priorities, guys. thought it was gonna be anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and let me know in the comments um your favorite gummy bear song and i will see you guys in my very next video